Okay, let's continue with our ground floor plan. If we select this viewport and go over to the SketchUp model tray, let's change the scene to our ground floor plan scene and set the scale at one to 50 for this project. That fits nicely on the page. Also, you'll notice we can change the render settings down here. This is currently set to raster, which makes the drawing and the line work a little bit pixelated like this. Render is great for graphical elements, but for our plans, we want nice crisp lines. So let's change this to vector. Okay. Now when we zoom in, you can see the line work is much neater and crisper. Now, before we go any further, I want to demonstrate that this layout file and your SketchUp file are now intrinsically linked. If you go to File, Document Setup, and click on References, you'll see the linked model listed here, similar to how XRefs work in AutoCAD. Next to the file location is a status, which says, Current. If we were to go over to SketchUp and make some changes to the model, so let's go in here and just change this wall, for example, and save those changes. If we go back into layout again, you'll see that our reference now says old and is highlighted in blue. If we click on that, and click update. Now we can see that crazy thick wall that we just created. I don't want to keep that. So let's undo those changes. Save our model in SketchUp. Go back to layout, file, document setup. And again, you can see this is blue and the status is set to old. Let's update. And here we are back where we started. Let's move on and create the first floor plan. We've got a page here, so let's rename that. First floor plan. And then all we have to do is select this viewport, control or command C to copy. Go to our first floor plan, Command V or Control V to paste. Then with this selected, let's change our scene to the first floor plan scene. And there we have it. Let's also set the elevations up. We'll need to do one per page at the same scale. So again, let's create a new page by clicking on the plus button and call that North Elevation. And let's create three more for the remaining elevations. Okay, if we again just copy Command C or Control C to copy our viewport and then Command V or control V to paste. And our north elevation, let's change the scene to north elevation. Now, you'll notice that this doesn't look quite the same because it's still set to vector, which is why we're not getting our textures and our nice line work. So let's change this to raster. And now you can see it looks much more like our elevations. I actually, if, you, if we zoom in, you can see I actually like to use hybrid for elevations because the lines are just that much crisper. Okay, so there's our north elevation set up. Let's go ahead, Command C. Again, control C, command V to paste and change that to the south elevation. Same again for the east elevation. And the same again 
for the West elevation. Okay, finally, let's set the sections up by creating two more pages in the layout file and using the same copy and paste method. Let's call this one section A and the next one section B. If we go back to section A again, let's paste our viewport, change this to section A, no great surprises there. Now, we may need to just nudge this around a little bit just to get it the way we want it on the page. Also, we want to set this to vector to get those crisp lines again, because this is an orthographic drawing. One last thing, if we control C or command C to copy that section, section B, control V, and no prizes for guessing which scene we select. Nudge that over and save. And that's it. We now have eight drawing sheets set up to scale and ready for some titles, notes, and annotation. See you in the next video.